In this video today, we are going to use the Fadal to do some plate work. Of course I had to take the vise off which is kind of annoying but I wanted to use my old Saunders Machine Works fixture plate to hold this piece of aluminum plate. This plate was for the Tormach but I got it to work with the Fidal just as easy. I used these little 8 inch thick spacers to space the aluminum plate up off the fixture plate just because I don't want to mill into the fixture plate. This aluminum plate is a quarter inch thick and it's 9 by 18 inches. I used the Heimer to locate the center point of this pre-cut piece and Fidal has this cool little feature in its controller to find the midpoint of X and Y axes which is really cool. On the Tormach you had to find the total length between the two and the X and Y and then divide it by two. That's just as easy but this is it's just cool because it's in the controller. And I use a program called NC Fidal to drip feed the entire program to the machine. And I just use my laptop to use that program and feed the machine. It's a cheap, simple, easy way to send a program to it without spending a lot of money. I have always tried to stay away from doing plate work because I just don't know how it's going to react. I know if I needed to machine both sides, how do I do that without the whole thing bowing like a potato chip? Fortunately for this job here, all I had to do was drill some holes and put a bigger hole in the center which was no big deal at all but I was just wondering what you guys thought about doing plate work like this and if you needed to machine both sides how do you go about doing that and still maintain the flatness you need to make sure the part conforms to all your tolerances In the end it turned out great. Luckily for this part I know what it's going on so tolerances weren't a big deal so it was a good test for me on doing plate work. I'm just curious to see what you guys think about if I needed to machine both sides of this, if it had features on both sides, how do you go about doing that? Because I may have some in the future. So it's always good. Good to learn first. And as always I look forward to your advice in the comments section. So until next time I'll see you later.